my falcons we are blending colors and I've added a bright blue to the sleeve a little bit more purple down here and I want to talk some more about colors and the difference between the hard and soft brushes right and and blending so as I lay down a light blue here and okay that was my mouse you could see it really behaves differently with a mouse as I lay down the color with my stylus it's super light and I'm going to use this darker blue under you know under the arms where it's a little bit darker and if I get too much then I can just switch to my eraser and come in with my eraser and clean it up really easily it's not going to affect the line at all now and I also have a pressure controlled hard brush let's try that out hard pressure opacity and I'm going to be working with a much smaller brush and let's start with a, a different kind of color All right let's pick a um, oh, actually let's pick a bright orange and I'm gonna take that bright orange and I'm gonna make a little cross and you can see as the as the streaks go over each other they get a little bit darker and now I'm gonna go and switch the colors and get a smaller size and do the same thing but with my color my other color you're gonna say well you know it doesn't really look like much and you would be absolutely right the heart if you want that blue to come up more you're gonna push harder on the stylus to really get it to saturate I'm going to get my finger here. This is the smudge tool. It might be hiding under the blur tool and it works like a finger painting tool. And I'm going to come in here. Let's let's make it big so you could see it really easily on the screen. And I'm going to push those colors around. Push them around. Can you see them blurring together? Now, I know this isn't a very exciting design, but what I'm really here to do is to show you how this thing works so that you can see it and you can try it. I'm working at I'm working with the mouse right now, the full full-on mouse, right? Let's go ahead and open the history window, and here we see everything that we've done. We're going to go back to where the brush was, and now we're going to try it with the stylus. So the stylus offers me a little bit more control and I can push different, I can get like smaller pieces of color and push it around. I'm just going to smear it in a circle. Sometimes you don't get it right the first time and you have to try it again two or three times until you find what I call the happy accident. The place where you just didn't even know it could look that cool. <laughs>